Hi Pisces, I'm Shah. I'm doing this very quickly. I'm sorry about the um, uh, sound that wasn't uh, working on the uh, live session. I've had a lot of ups and downs and troubles to get all these videos out. So I'm trying to get these out. I've got the same issue with um, Sagittarius, so I've got to do that one again as well. I still hope to go out live tonight, even if it is shortly. So um, here we go. So uh, if uh, I will load this up after I've been live, okay? So um, I'm I'm sorry about that. I'll leave the Pisces out there so that you can see that I'm using the same cards as I've used in the live, and then you can also see the um, introduction. Uh, because the introduction went okay and then after that it went dead okay so let's get back to you um, uh, Pisces and I hope you forgive me for this but um, I've had issues with YouTube all the way and now I know it is also the sound is my um, headset uh, or my computer so I need to get a headset because I also <laughs> sound like a man really deep voice in Aquarius or Capricorn okay well I hope it works so let's get started with your cards okay your first card is the death card and the death card means that you're no longer a caterpillar and it also means that it is a transformational period so you're leaving the old behind, you're cutting away with the old and you're going into a new period. Uh, you're transforming into something beautiful and it, the card, so, um, the death card also means uh, Scorpio. So you might be meeting a Scorpio or meeting a Scorpio in the new period. For some of you it might be a second chance or reconciliation with a Scorpio as we have judgment. Judgment means a new beginning but it also means to me a second chance because the rising dead are, they are being air blown into them by Archangel Gabriel. So for some of you this is a new beginning. Uh, or a second chance which is also really a new beginning I've put an extra light on the work so that you can see uh, the cards a little bit I hope it does help I am i haven't got all the instruments that I would like to have and I do have issues with things I'm sorry my darlings but we try to do with what we've got that's what I've been uh, taught when I was younger. Okay, uh, I do love you Pisces, you are amazing. Okay, and you know that Brenda Tarot Readings is also a Pisces, so that's why, uh, you know, you're special to me, not only that, but for other reasons as well. I've got personal friends that are Pisces. And you've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. She is the second in line because the King is the first and so the King of Pentacles is Taurus and the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo. So you might be meeting a Virgo. Now what is quite significant in these readings that I've had two videos that have had the consecutive signs in a row. So it could be uh, in other readings, three months, uh, one quarter could be very significant. Now you've only got two. You've got Scorpio and you've got Pisces, but you've also got the Ace of Wands. And the Wands are the fire signs, so they start on the 21st of um, uh, November to the 21st of December so that is Sagittarius so not only Sagittarius also Aries and Leo but here you are you've got um, Virgo you've got Scorpio and now you've got the time of Sagittarius so that might be significant for you as well at the end of the year could be really significant from the beginning of uh, uh, 
October. Uh, around the 21st of October something might start that is very significant to you and this could be with the Queen of Pentacles. You might uh, start a job where there is a Queen of Pentacles. So this reading won't only resonate with you perhaps uh, at this time but perhaps later in the year. So load it down or note it down and put it in your diary. Okay, um, Pisces, it could be a very significant meaning. This time could be a significant meaning. But uh, you could be meeting a Scorpio or a Virgo Queen. This could be a man with a, a, a attentive side, a feminine side to him, nurturing, caring and loving and passionate. Or because this Scorpio is also the sexiest sign they say in the zodiac. So, oh, you, 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 you could be having a whale of a time now or at the end of the year, the last three months. You might be having sleepless sleepless nights. I'm putting it underneath the lamp. <laughs> oh God, I'm half, I'm 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 tired. I must admit, because I've been busy since yesterday, and everything has gone wrong. Okay, you might be having sleepless nights as you have the nine of swords, but something is coming to an end. Okay, and something is starting. Where there is an end is a new beginning. So that's actually a confirmation of the Ace of Rods, which is action, uh, creativity, action, action meaning work, job, a new job, or a hobby becoming a job, or you might be starting a new hobby like passion or uh, love. If you want to have this lasting love, then make sure you know your boundaries and you let them know your boundaries. Like the Queen of Pentacles, she stands for fertility, birth, growing, nurturing, fertility, a birth of a child, a birth of a job, a birth of a new creation. Wow, wow, wow. So don't have any sleepless nights about this. Just let it come in, right in, like a second chance. Let it come and let it loose. Let the old lose and the new in. There is an offer. You might be depressed or up in your head about things, but don't worry. Don't worry, it's going to happen anyway. Life carries on. So give your worries to the Divine and the Angels, okay? Give it to Gabriel. He'll take care of it for you. And be more aware of what's happening around you, not just what is in front of you. And don't come into action like this ace. Boom! Be active! Go for it, darlings! Okay, Pisces. Um, we've, you've also got the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Um, he's bringing you an offer, so there might be more than one offer. Okay, this could be an offer of love, an offer of a job, an offer of a position. Um, something that you love or that you're passionate about, because the Cups are passion, love nurturing but also very emotional and spiritual okay you it, uh, it might even be a job in the healthcare because they nurture and they care uh, the water signs and let's face it Pisces you are a water sign and you are highly sensitive so you will have to be careful what you do but I think it's going to be a good new beginning and uh, it's going to bring in money, definitely. Because this is work and this is the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is bringing you news about finances. This could be about something that is durable and for long term. You are, you've definitely got a lot of people in your reading. Okay, so you've got Scorpio, you've got Virgo, and now you've got the King of Pentacles. And that is a Cancer. Because the first sign is the King. And the first sign in, in, the, in, in the houses is Cancer, the first water sign. So this is a well-balanced, emotional, nurturing, loving, passionate man. He can keep his emotions under control so he can do business. Boom! Absolutely awesome. 
um, he do he might be psychic. He might listen more to his feelings and his intuition than uh, other men might do. He's aware that emotions are important in relationships as well as in business as in love. You might have uh, a beautiful uh, water sign uh, partner. You might already be hooked up and perhaps it, your relation is being enhanced because of this difficult situation being in a lockdown. You might go up a next level, a second chance into something better. Whoopee! And he's making you an offer. Shall we go on holiday? Yes! Who knows? Although the travel cards aren't here. Okay? You haven't got the Knight of Wands, but you've got the Ace of Wands. So there could be a new idea brewing. Something that you're both passionate about. It is very, very strong, Pisces. Uh, your element is here. Uh, Although the knight hasn't got a significant meaning for a zodiac sign, it's only the king, the queen, and um, uh, the pages. But I feel that there is a, a next level in your relationship, something new, perhaps a new hobby together. And that could be travelling, because that's action. Action is also travelling. Uh, perhaps a next level in spirituality as you've got the hermit and the hermit is also spiritual he retreats he takes retreats or this card means take a retreat take time out a short break meditate contemplate and evaluate and make don't worry give it to the divine give it to the angels your worries okay in other words, throw your worries away, which you, or throw the issues away that you cannot uh, use anymore, that are of no use. You've gained the wisdom, you've gained the life experience, now pass it on to third parties. Make your light, uh, uh, make your load lighter, because you are on a life journey. You might be on an other journey. This could be on the journey to getting up to the next level. If you've been together for 6, 7, 8, 10, 25 years, then you have to keep something refreshed. You have to keep putting in... It takes work to work and twig a relationship. One of you might be uh, deceiving... Uh, de uh, there is deception. Might be deceiving the other about their emotions. Perhaps the excitement is gone and you want excitement. You want to do something together like a hobby or a job or uh, start your own business together. Tell your partner if you are hooked up how you feel. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Be open, be honest, communicate and evaluate, contemplate and evaluate and communicate, both of you, if you are hooked up. If you are not hooked up, then please learn to communicate much better with your inner self. That is what the hermit does. Okay. So somebody is not being totally honest. So who is wearing the mask? That is what I would be um, asking you in the live session next week. Because I'm planning to discuss this reading and what you thought of it, what, did, what resonated with you. Do you feel that you are in a transformation? How can you... Um, there's another question in my mind that's coming up. Is it a transformation uh, from boring to new, like a second chance, a new beginning, an exciting new adventure? Think of something. Think of something. Is one of you pregnant? 
do you want pregnancy? Perhaps you are too mature to become pregnant, so you might become a grandmother. How do you feel about that? So, anyway, what are you worried about? Keep this um, relationship going. You love each other, otherwise you wouldn't have stayed this long together. But there must be a new injection, new injection, re refreshing injection, a new beginning somewhere. Get the interests together and let it go. See what the other wants. See what you want. Let, know, let them know what your boundaries are. Know their boundaries. What do they like? Uh, their, their hobbies might have changed, their interests might have changed. Get more information. That is what the angels are saying. Priorities. Prioriteiten. This is Dutch. So I'm going to translate it and look at this. Very spiritual card and the heart. Purple is spiritual, pink is the heart. So open up your heart and connect spiritually, perhaps do yoga together or meditate together. Listen to that beautiful meditating music together. That could be bringing back new interests in your relationships and relaxation so you don't have sleepless nights. You have got Archangel Metatron, one of my favorites. He uses esoterical geometrical shapes to clear your chakras. Perhaps do a Reiki healing on each other. Perhaps get if you are a uh, get start t uh, learning Reiki together. Be initiated and heal each other. And um, uh, how do you say that? Uh, when you you do Reiki together. Uh, then move it, move it into meditation together. Touch, touch, and communication is so important in a relationship. It says Archangel Metatron says, concentrate on the things that have high priority for you. I will help you to get this done and motivate you and bring everything back in order. Look as the cup, then the light of the divine, the everlasting light. Your cup will overflow again if you let Archangel Metatron help you to clear your chakras and your emotions. Open up your heart, open up your emotional chakra and the solar plex and let Archangel Joviel bring you joy and happiness. So let that mask fall. Be yourself. Communicate. I love this reading. It's really strong. I hope you've liked this reading as well, Pisces. And I'm sorry about the mix and mess up. Take care and be beautiful and stay safe. I love you. And remember, if you are new, subscribe and hit the bell and click on all, then you should be notified when I go live. And I am going live tonight, even if it's long, even if it kills me, I'm going live tonight. So stay bright and I'll be on back on Monday as well and Wednesday and next Friday and Saturday. I'll be going live all day for every zodiac sign. So write down your questions and come in and ask your questions or just uh, make a suggestion what you like to hear in a reading. I hope to see you then and tonight. Ciao, ciao.